אז כולם פה? everybody here? בונז'ור מוריס. בונז'ור, כיסא כי פרל. מי מדבר? You look the same. אה, אני לא. מוריס, גם אני פה. אי, אתה פה? אה, בוקר טוב. שלום, מושיקו. שלום, שלום. אדי קפלן, אד קפלן. היי. אשטרד, 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 Hello, hello, Moshiko. Hi. Moshiko, how are you, Danny? How are you? So wonderful Good. to see you again. Yeah, it's so hello. nice to see all of you. The last, time we saw each other, the last time we saw each other on Zoom, we were celebrating you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Zoom reunion, <laughs> which one? Darian. The Zoom Darian. reunion. Yes. Moshiko, we miss you. We miss you, Moshiko. Oh, uh, well, what I can say. I miss you all as well. The same. Uh, Murray and Wendy. Hi, Murray and Wendy. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Hi Murray. Moshiko, shalom. Jason. Hi, Jason. Where are you? Hey, Moshiko, look, he looks 20 years old. He looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Maurice, yeah. you have... Maurice, you, you have a cat in your house. Yes, no, it's my dog. It's a dog? It's my little dog. You sure? She's my, she's my assistant. She's my assistant. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see who is here today. Jason is here. And uh, Doris Woolman from Florida. Lang, Lang, you have some friends with you? How are you? Hi, did you, did you bring some friends? I invited my, my students. I okay. hope they're doing enough. Here you go. Uh, Irit Eskayo. To Irit. Hello, Irit. Hi. Oh, yes, Dori from Toronto. Dori Levin. Hello, Dori. Okay. And I spy, I spy Michal Eskayo. Hi, Michal. And... Yeah, you must know my second page, Michal, because I don't see you. I don't see Michal either. But I, I see Ariane. Which, which Michal? My Michal? You have three pages. <laughs> to get out. Oh, there's a ping. Ping. Uh, where's ping? I just saw ping. Hi, Marie. Ping Sean. How are you ping? Hi, Marie. From Men Woods. Yes. Meryl, Dancing Girl. Hi, Randy. Ariane. Hi, Ariane. Wow. And Israel, hi Israel, how are you? Hey, wonderful, hey, wonderful hey, to see Eddie, you. Gary, Jerry. And so okay, many of hey, you. We say hello Judy. now because hey. after we are not going to have time to say hello. It's a good, good program. Laura, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Say hello to everybody, to your friends. And I'm sure you're going to get more and more. This Florence Newman from New York. Hello, Florence. <laughs> Israel Yakovi. Yes, at the end, you can talk to each other at the end too. Um, who has, uh, that's it, uh, you have uh, so many people now, you can start, uh, yes, Miranda Adani from New York is here too, you need Levi. Hello. Sarah, Tashmi. Hello. Yes. Oh, Susan, <laughs> your picture isn't in yet. Oh, John, John my, here. Uh, I can see you, I know, but you can't see me, there's something wrong with my camera, but I can see you and I'm watching. Lovely weather. Hi, it's Randy. Hi, Randy. Hi, everybody. Susie, I just called you, Susie. Hey, I know. Susie. I oh, saw. Susie, you I saw. But I'm on. <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm on. Okay, I'm watching. Uh, so, Maurice, yes, we have are to you start, ready huh? to begin? Yeah, we, start, we have to start because you have, a, you have a long but very, very interesting program. You have so much video. So much guests from all over the world are here, and so many people are here today. And we, we didn't start yet, and you are already almost 80 people. And of course, uh, let's welcome Moshiko from Israel. 
It was a nice for him to be with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Of course, uh, Eileen Westock is here. And we have Irit here. Irit is Kayo. And is Michal is here? Not yet? Yes. Michal is here. Oh, Michal. I don't, I don't know where is Michal. <laughs> ah, Michal, yes. I'll wave. Hey, Michal. Bonjour. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I don't speak English. I'm going to speak in French. It's okay with you? No. <laughs> Your English is excellent, Maurice. <laughs> Sorry for my English. You know, I try to do it's, my best. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> Before to, first of all, everybody wants to say thank you very much for being with us today. But before to give the, the microphone to Eileen, I just want to say a few words. Uh, people say, uh, well, first, I want to say, unfortunately, because of Moshe's medical uh, condition, doesn't not allow him to be with us today, unfortunately. But I'm sure, hopefully, Irit could show him some recording that you did today, we hope. Definitely. And you know why I decided to do the Zoom today? Because in recognition for the legacy left us by Moshe Skayo through the dance, through the music, through the entertainment, okay. and of course, it's amazing camp for the scenes. And Moshe has left his signature engraved in the great world of Israeli dance around the world. And his dance, don't forget, his dance will continue to be danced for many generations to come. That's my introduction. And now I would like to pass uh, the microphone to Eileen before you start after the, the program. Thank you, Eileen. You want to say something? Okay, so I'm going to say just a couple of words because anybody who's here is here because they know and love Moshe. And so anybody here could say what I'm going to say. But I was wondering, what, what do I say about Moshe? So I found a couple of words that I'm sure everybody can relate to and will really appreciate in the way that I mean them. How do you describe Moshe? Well, let's find some words. Brilliant, yes. Talented, yes. Inappropriate, yes. <laughs> Embarrassing at times, yes. <laughs> Unique, of course. Caring and loving, yes. Impulsive, Impatient, exasperating, yes. Kind-hearted, anything for anybody, that too. Eileen, yeah? um, I'm going to mute everybody and then you unmute yourself, all right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Right, so now everybody is um, muted except me, which, okay. To make, just to make it a little easier. No, that's fine. I just, everybody has their great relationship with Moshe, knows him in the way that they know him, but they know that the, he is, his dances are classic, brilliantly executed, brilliantly put together. They are they feel good when you do them, if you do them correctly. They feel good when you do them, and you know that. Yet, he was uh, Moshe, you know. And everybody knows exactly what that means. Um, everybody, every Shoshana out here, every Echeskel out here, you know, the man was a great guy, couldn't remember anybody's name at all. You know, you got to know who you're dealing with. And when I was talking to Moshe, uh, to, to my daughter Liat before, she said, you know, Moshe, he was like my bonus grandfather. He used, when we had the camp days, he practically lived in my house, starting the day after camp until camp started. So he was very, very much a part of our family. He is still very much a part of our family. I feel terrible that he's not on the Zoom with us, which I guess because of the timing and the place and whatever, he can't do it, but I'm sure he would love this. And everybody could pop in afterwards when you get unmuted and say your own adjective, and I'm sure all of them will work. So enjoy the rest of the program, and um, 
We love Moshe. Uh, Maurice, Maurice, you're now on mute. Maurice, you're on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Thank you, thank you, Eileen. Eileen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's let's dance. We are going to present you now four dances in live. Okay, with myself and with Diane and Ronnie. Okay, so the first dance is going to be Bakramim. As please, if you know the dance, and I'm sure you know the dance, dance with us. John has for the dancing. Okay. We're dancing today for Moshe. We're dancing for him. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's do the. <laughs> dance very well <laughs> you, you both did well you both did well no problems oh another song you know another song from Moshe and you know Bakramim and the next song Ashir Shili is from one of his friends he's a musician he was accordionist and he's a composer it's a Moshe Shlomo Shlomo no Moshe Shai sorry Moshe Shai he composed Bakramim and he composed Ashir Shili that's the next dance
gorgeous dance. Ashir, Shelly, no less. And another two dancers with Diane and Ronnie, the dancers from Montreal. The, dance, the next dance is Tagidi and Lia, that very, very popular dance from Moshe. Uh, let's welcome uh, Diane. Tagidi is maybe one of the first classics that we learned at Horakef. Eileen, you could confirm it. In, in the earlier years, Lia is one of the ones we learned late, more lately, like in the Sababa years, but they're both amazing dances. We do them uh, regularly here still. I'm sure yeah. everybody does. That's yeah. because Leah was only born in the later years. Exactly. So she couldn't yeah. have a dance before she was born. <laughs> song from Abraham Fried, Leah, beautiful song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you have to share the music, uh, Diane. I don't see you on the... Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Of course, I didn't share my music. Uh, I, I do this every time. I will share it. <laughs> not only you. Okay. Put me on, this, on the spotlight, uh, David. You're on. Uh, Simo 
Nicely done. Hello. Well done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Maurice, you're on mute. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Ronnie. Before to put the first video, I just have a few words to say about, uh, first of all, uh, you have Ariane is here today, Ariane uh, Boutal from Paris. You know, Ariane made a first a first tribute to Moshe Skayo two months ago, and it was very interesting. It, I, I will call this tribute number one, and a lot of interview with Irit and Mich Michal Skayo, with uh, Eileen and all the friends. And today I will call this tribute number two, <laughs> if you don't mind, Ariane. It's like the continuation of the tribute to Moshe Skayo. Do you want to say a few words about uh, Moshe, Ariane? I uh, just think that it was the um, it was nice to do it with uh, Eileen and Hirit and Miral. It was very interesting, and uh, I think it's uh, someone Moshe Skayo is someone we have to do it. Uh, okay, thank you. A program like this, and it's good that you are doing more than me. <laughs> it's very oh, nice. Thank you, Ayan. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe may may I have Mo uh, Moshiko? Moshiko is here with us today. And maybe Moshiko, do you want to do some, do you want to say something, Moshiko, for Moshe? Moshiko? I'm looking for him and I don't see him. Moshiko okay. is on mute. Oh, he's on he's mute. here, he's on mute. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. Moshiko. Yes. Moshiko. Uh -huh. Well, I would like to say so many things about Moshe. You know, since I arrived to New York and I moved to live in America, I happened to meet uh, Moshe and um, I happened to also to discover his dances. And um, I must say, besides being a friend and working together 
so many times cooperating. I think that um, I'm allowing myself, myself to say that there is no choreographer in Israel who was able to do choreography like what Moshe, kind of choreography that Moshe Skayo was doing. Even though he lived, he lived in America, he was so Israeli and so Jewish and so care about the Israeli folk dance. So um, I, I think, you know, I'm allowing now myself to say how mature he was with his choreography. He had, he had such um, a, a good test to choose the right music, the right song and the right steps in order to choreograph Israeli folk dance. And he was more, more Israeli living in America than choreographers in Israel who tried to choreograph Israeli folk dance. That's what I can say about him. I miss him and I am so sad that I cannot see at least his face, you know, in this Zoom. Yes. Thank you, Moshiko. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I know it's very difficult. Uh, yeah, feelings. I understand that. Okay, now let's go to the next. Uh, the, the, first, the first video we are going to see today, it's uh, Moshe Eskayo and his dancers in 1971. I'm not sure about the date. 1971 at the Mike Douglas show with uh, the, 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 the Sadot dancers, we call this. Okay, uh, let's watch our first video to from today. Give me a few seconds, please. Thank you. Uh Maurice, Maurice, we have a shadow again. Yeah, 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 no problem. I take off. Supposed to, yeah, that's right. Thank you. So can dance and hold hands, and maybe that too can help to, uh, you know, touch each other around the world. So give us good dance. Well, here in response to yeah. your request, there's a group of young people yeah. who uh, are going to make you very, very happy. I Great. Know. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sadat Folk Dancers. Them. That's oh. right. That's the thing I want. The pe people, 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 you know, happy, joyous people. We yes. have to have to. Ah.
him out, please? You're responsible for this, Cube, is that right? Yes. And your name is? Moshe Eskaya. See, I wanted him to come out because I didn't want to take a crack at the name and then have him come out and correct me. Nice having you here. Thank you. Tell me something about these young people. They are students, people who love to do folk dancing, especially Israeli dancers. And they, they dance together as a group, which I chose from my center in New York City, and they perform in all, all kinds of places. Is it my imagination? Be, because these dances resemble dances that I have seen before. Are they strictly Israeli dances, or are they uh, dances they, that are done other places in the world? They are Israeli dances that are choreographed dances mm. to music, which... Uh, is it expensive to learn this? To no, be a this part is of your uh, school? something... But you don't have to spend so much money to learn to do this way of dancing. Where is your school located? In Manhattan, 2121 Broadway, New York. Uh -huh. What does it cost to join? Uh -huh. Or do you just have to look nice like them, huh? To look nice. <laughs> Can you do more for us? Yeah, we have a special number for you. The Hora. Did you hear about the Hora? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're going to do the Hora. It's yours. Take it. <laughs> Yes, and you see, uh, Moshe, a long time ago, <laughs> very interesting, how they, they used to dance uh, 50 years ago, you know, there was more basic dances, not too much choreography, and what was interesting too. You know, before to do to the live dancing, I would like to do maybe one more, one more video, because I'm on the video now. I would like to do, um, you see, Moshe, used to come to my camp in Dance Montreal at least for six, 16, 17 years. Of course, with Eileen, they came together. They support me in my camp and really, uh, I really appreciate it. I will never forget it. And we had a, a lot of parties at the camp and Moshe was laughing at what he was doing during the, during the party, during the barbecue, sing along. Uh, let's have a little uh, uh, pictures about, about that uh, party. At the camp. I just thought you off. Not you. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 Boys and girls, uh, this is this time of the <laughs>
Et Evan Russo Moshiko playing the flute at the Dance Moral 1997. Did you see yourself, Moshiko? Yes, right there. Okay, now we are going to do some uh, live dancing. I have uh, Eileen is going to dance uh, Debka alone. Eileen, are you? Okay, I'm going to put the music for you. Yes. Eileen, you're on mute. Okay, well, I got Absolutely. about four inches here in my kitchen, so. Okay, we, 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 okay. I, I come over and help you move your uh, table, but I'm, I'm, it'll take me too long to get there. Yeah. Remember, I broke my back on my way to Maurice's camp. I don't move tables so much anymore. Okay. I remember that. Let's see. Uh, and some people we dance to uh, uh, the Calon. There's a Danny, I'm sure he's ready to do it. And I'm sure some other people will do the Calon. Let's go, let's go. Are you ready, Eileen? Okay. Ready here. Okay, let's put the music. The baby is a nice touch. Very good, very yeah. good. Danny, yeah. you were missing a baby in your in your uh, in your rep. Uh, this, version. by the way, is Liat's baby. Everybody. That's a Liat Remember baby. Remember when yeah. Liat came to camp at this age? This is her baby, Ayla. That's right, her baby. Yeah. What's her name, Eileen? Ayla. Oh, just like Ayla. Just like <laughs> our Ayla. Ayla. Oh, wow, wow. Very nice. Now it's uh, Danny. What's that? <laughs> What, what Close you... enough, Danny. Danny, now it's your turn. So, uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Great. Can you, can you so, well, well, you know, cutie, um, this is my grand nephew, yeah. Zephyr. Oh, he's cool. almost two and a half. He's not, this is, a, this is a younger picture. I can't find a recent picture, but that's the one. And, um, you know, he's he's got attitude. He's got stride. 
he's ready to dance. Sounds so. like he takes after his uncle. I, I sure hope so. I'm I'm thrilled. His mom, uh, my niece Becky, actually uh, did Irish step dance with one of the stars of Riverdance on Broadway. So it runs in the family on, on all sides. Mazel tov. <laughs> Thanks. So, Maurice, are we ready to? Uh, yeah, Danny, Danny, are you ready to? Uh... To dance? Ready, ready, ready for a the, dance. Debka, Debka Oud and Debka. I want to say one thing. Sorry. Thank you, Larry Denenberg. He's putting in some comments in the comment section. We're telling us about where the different dances yes. are and everything, thank which you, is very Larry. useful. And we, I appreciate it a lot. So thank yeah, you. Thank you very much, Larry. Great. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Larry. And so this next one, which I'm sure Larry will also have good information on, uh, Debka Oud. Uh, and this is actually a dance that... Um, Ruth Goodman and I actually did it our last Saturday night Classics Plus dance party, pulled that one out. So it's amazing we're doing it once again here. And although um, ben C. T I believe Ben C. Tiram's dance to Depka Oud is the one that's been mainly popular in Israel and in many dance circles. Back in the day, Depka Oud was a beloved dance uh, as choreographed by Moshe Eskayo. Yeah. In many sessions here, especially in the Northeast, both in Israeli dance circles and in international folk dance circles, where they embraced it because yeah. it had such an international folk feel. And Eileen used a word before that I think comes to mind for all of us, which is brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. And I think this choreography to Depka Oud, and it's always interesting to, to see yeah. the different interpretations of dances, is simply a brilliant choreography. I just want and to add something, want... Danny, I just want to yeah. add something about Depka Oud. Yes. I was dancing in Paris in a dance group called Gilgal. Gilgal, uh, directed by the, the brother of Motiel Fassi. It's a, uh, and it was a long time ago. And used to do Deb Kaoud in our show from Moshe. We 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 used to use to use the comment the 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 souls. The souls. Oh, yeah. it, it's a very it's a very interesting dance and very interesting choreography too. Yes. That makes the dance interesting, you know? Yes. Because the, there's Very a lot, lot of character on that dance. Yeah, uh, 100%. It's, interesting it's, it's more than a dance. It's, it's, an, it's, dance. it's a dance experience yes, for those who right. know it. That's right. Uh, it's sort of a, a piece. And we have on with us, of course, we're so fortunate to have some brilliant choreographers of, Defka, of Depkas with us. Uh, we're so honored to have them. And here's a, what I believe is a brilliant choreography to Moshe, uh, Moshe Escayo's choreography to Depka Oud. Depka Oud. <laughs>
Beautiful, Dami. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. For Moshe. And I'm okay. sure if you were watching, he would critique me all over the place. And I would, <laughs> and I would welcome it. <laughs> you get 10 okay. out of 10 from us. Thank you. A brilliant <laughs> dance. 12, 12 and, and 10. It takes me back to the experience of doing this dance in many dance sessions in the Northeast, especially memories of dancing in Boston with the likes of the great Ed Kaplan, who is here with us today, and a whole line of us doing this dance and hoping at the end we get down on that knee yeah. and not injure it too much. <laughs> the knees, I think, are still working, I hope. Yeah. So, uh, now yes, the next one is Al Gemali, something quiet. Al Gemali, yeah. something quiet and beautiful. And another dance that I believe in Israel they may do a partner a partner dance version to Al Gamali. Here, Al Gamali, yeah. it's Moshe's circle dance that was the smash, both in Israeli and international folk dance circles, uh, even to this day. In one of my Zoom sessions, we do it every week. Yeah. Uh, Something beautiful... else about, sorry, Danny, about Al Gamali. You know, I like so much the dance, the music. With my little kids who are four or five years old, I make a special dance on Al Gamali event in Main Woods then camp with the adults. I did something like dancing in the desert with the tambourine and with the basket. I tell you, for it's a, it, for the show, it's a, something incredible. The incredible. Music. And I believe, as you mentioned before, uh, Maurice, the, the amazing composer musician, Shlomo Shai, Moshe. who worked so closely with Moshe and, and composed much of Moshe's music, including mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the, the Detka Chaim music that we did for many years and many others. But songs like this that, that, that existed, you know, pre, that, that were not composed by him, he was brilliant at rearranging. Mm -hmm. And Al Gamali, right. I believe this is Shlomo Shai's incredible arrangement of it. Yeah. And it just uh, brings it to another level. And the one word I would describe for this dance and many of other dancers agree also is ethereal. This is simply an ethereal dance. Moshe Eskayo's Al Gamali.
much, Danny. Beautiful Thank dance. Thank you so Welcome much, Maurice. A, yes. An honor, an honor, and a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, so one of your fellow from Israeli dancing in the North America, she passed away, and I'm sure most of you know her. It's uh, Ruth Slan. She was. Uh, I used to meet her a few times in the North America, and after ba uh, battle, battle with cancer. As a root, uh, unfortunately, we, we lost a great, great friend from a, from a dance, family dancer in North America. And you know about Ruth, there was always a song she liked. When I used to teach a dance in uh, Washington camp years ago, he rocked it. And he rocked it means hell dance, she's dancing. And I want to put just one, one few measure of that music just to remember Ruth, Slan, he rocked it. And even he taught that dance, she taught that dance in a class in a different camp. Now let's put the music for her. <laughs> That was in memories of Ruth Islan. I know she, she loved so much that she danced and uh, I, I don't want to, I wanted to. Now I would like to invite uh, Irit and Michal Escayo, the two Moshe's daughter, Michal and Irit. How are you today? Good, Who, who's first? Both of you. Together? <laughs> yeah, together. Whatever who wants to answer a question, whatever. Michal, no you want to start? No, I, I want to just want to know uh, because in Ariane uh, interview you talk a lot, a lot, a lot. Very nice. I just want to ask you something. What kind of Abba was Moshe? Did he was uh, busy with dancing, or he was with you, both of you all the time, or what? What kind of Abba he was? I think the way Eileen describes him <laughs> in the beginning, <laughs> uh -huh. um, all of those adjectives are correct. Um, I think we said in, uh, in uh, Ariane Zoom that first of all, uh, we were very involved with, um, with everything that went on with all the camps and, and we were very, we, we, we did all the, all the work that today computers do. <laughs> if it's uh, typing and gluing and cutting and sticking and, and sending out letters and uh, oh, and yeah. cutting out things and posters and putting up on the walls and uh, we did a lot of that stuff uh, around the camp time. Um, of course, he was very very creative, so um, he did all our school projects, uh, anything that had to do with uh, artistic, uh, yeah. The, the artistic side that we would go to sleep and in the morning our project would be ready at least that's what I remember um so uh he helped us in that end he was uh he was our driver because he didn't have one of those uh, nine to five jobs that you have to go out early in the morning so he he could take us to school he could pick us up uh drive us around that was uh that was something that uh, that he always did because of course mom uh, taught in school she had to be there early um and if we remember, Mom, she uh, those uh, those costumes that you saw on the Mike Douglas show. She uh, sewed all of them. She sewed all the costumes for the dance group. Every every last one of them. I even have some remains here in the house, some souvenirs. Um, so she was also very involved uh, on that end. Um, and um, and about the, my, another thing about the Mike Douglas uh, 
It was very nice that they knew how to dance a hora because I don't think that anybody in this country, even those who uh, do Israeli dancing, would know how to just like on the spot start to do a start to dance a hora. They don't even know what side to start on. I think uh, it's not something that uh, exists today almost in Israeli dancing, at least not from what I see. Um, maybe Michal, you want to continue? Um, sure. Um, when I was in Binghamton, or as Eileen says, Bimming Bimington? Bimington. <laughs> Actually, I was just I was just out west of Chicago yesterday, just for the day, about two hours west of here, and I saw on the map a teeny town called Binghamton. I was like, there's another Binghamton? Binghamton? <laughs> Binghamton. Binghamton. Right. I remember <laughs> that he would write the check for college in the fall, and then my mother would write the check for college in the spring. I mean, it was a state school. It was 1986. It was pretty cheap, right? Um, but he would send me up. Later on, I had my grandfather's car, and he would send me up with vats of hummus and baba ganoush and falafel. And um, so, you know, I had instant friends. <laughs> 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 very popular when you feed your friends that's tell right me, tell me yeah. something is is a dance is a legacy that your father left you a dance is is, is it a legacy for you that your father left left to you dancing hmm. now you understand that. um yeah. well i'll say that i worked with in dance for many <laughs> many years uh um I kind of carried on the tradition. I taught uh, kids. Many of you, yeah, I know. Uh, you teach a lot of kids, and uh, um, no, I don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore. Do I worked with uh, various dance uh, performing groups in Israel. Um, Moti here, my husband also uh, worked with performing groups. So, uh, and uh, and my daughter Ella, she's the only one that uh, that still really dances. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Now it's funny because you know uh, when Moshe was in New York. Uh, Michal was close, not so far away from him, and Irith was far away from him. And today Moshe is in Israel, and that means Irith is close to Moshe, and Michal is far away from Moshe. Depends on traffic. Sometimes it takes me almost like it does from Chicago. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Michal, he went Moshe for so many years, and now it's Irith has Moshe from. Mm. Yeah. I know I was just in New York for the first time uh, three weeks ago for a wedding. It was my first time in 15 months. But I mean, for the last five years, I've been going four or five times a year. Before that, three times, two times. So I was on a, I was seeing like my cousins there more than they were seeing each other when I wasn't, wasn't there. Like, you know, yeah. so it was like, I would go to work, I would go to New York. No, it's a little bit different. Okay, thank you very much. Well, maybe we we we'll talk a lot more later on. I would like to show you now something about uh, Moshe. You know, in his uh, talent show, everybody knows Moshe because Moshe before he was a shoemaker. You never told me that he was a shoemaker. Yes, did he was a shoemaker one day, Moshe? No, but I think that uh, one of the great grandfathers. Was. Dream. Maybe his mm -hmm. grand grandfather was a shoemaker, and now today we have first uh, Peter Swalash from Montreal. I'm sure Peter is, is still here, and Moshe made the, the shoemaker with Peter Swalash, and I forget who was with him. Uh, let's let's see this video, special video for Moshe and the shoemaker. As much as possible. I'm <laughs> 
Moshe. Oh. And everybody went, went uh, invited almost everybody, all the choreographer was uh, last was in this in the shoemaker store with Moshe. You know, it's very really incredible. And now uh, Maurice, uh, wait, Joan wants to tell us where the shoemaker skit originated. Oh, very good. So Joan, Joan you want to tell us? Joan, uh, if you can say something. Yes, happy because I this is the one thing that everybody has laughed so much at their whole life. It, it, we have to know the originating. Okay, Joan, we are really waiting for you. Joan, you're on mute. Joan, you're on mute. You have to unmute. Sorry, that was a that was a question for me. I'm hoping maybe uh, a reach or someone knows actually when that skit originated and how. If that was something that was passed down in the family or where did that come from no it's it's one I of his I crazy know. inventions <laughs> so he, he made that up i'm not sure i can ask him tomorrow on the phone um i'll ask him and maybe i'll send the answer to maurice and he can uh, like uh, send it somehow yeah. um yeah. i promise to ask him if he yeah. he probably should remember because he does remember things from from a while ago mm -hmm. yeah. again brilliant can do so for I will do the dance for for that. Just one moment. Bantirim golo golo, bom bom. Bantirim baga baga, bom bom. Bantirim golo golo, bom bom. Bantirim baga baga. Bam 
Vampirim baga baga, bum bum. Vampirim golo golo, bum bum. Vampirim baga baga, bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Good workout, Maurice. Wow, wow. Is Liat uh, still dancing that dance, uh, Eileen? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to invite now Diane and Ronnie for Rak Atta. I know there was two dances. Uh, there was in Israel another, another dance on Rak Atta, but this one is something very special that Moshe did. Uh, let's invite uh, Diane and, uh, and Roni. You can share the music, Diane. Diane, you were on mute, so you have to unmute and share the music. Well, you changed the schedule, so I wasn't ready, but I am ready. Sorry, sorry, because uh, maybe, maybe Zingarella will do at the end. Okay, I'm doing Rakata and Zazman, or just one? Yes, uh, let's do uh, Rakata. One, one, yes, one. time with with uh, Eileen there I must say I, I'm pretty embarrassed because this is I think of that dance and I see Eileen Eileen doing it so but you I, did fine you did fine guys the, the dance. don't worry <laughs> you never no, have to be did. embarrassed about that you did very well no but I would have loved to see you because you I, are the queen of that dance. Stress. She has to dance on the kitchen table. But I, you know, I, would have to, I would have to go over my table, whatever. No, but it's a beautiful dance. It's not easy. Not easy dance, too. Tell you the truth. Not an easy dance. Let's do now. Let's go right away to the next video. Before to invite uh, uh, um, Mayor Shemtov and Nurit, his wife, do, doing two dance, two couple dance for Moshe. Let's do a video of a few Moshe uh, couple dance. Very nice video. Let's see that.
That was a song of beautiful couple dance from Moshe. And you see, you see yourself 10 years, 20, 30 years ago, how young you were. <laughs> and, uh, and we saw Michal dancing, that Michal with uh, a dad, that was nice. And you see Murray, how he was so young and his wife, everybody was young. Now I would like to invite uh, May. Maurice, I don't see Mayor on the Zoom session. Yes, in Nurit, Nurit ve... He's here, he's here. He's called Nurit Vaknin. It's written in Hebrew. Aha. Uh -huh. I see him, I see him. Yes, I'm right here. Okay, as soon as I can find you, I'm going to put you on the spotlight. Tell me, uh, tell me, Mayor. Yeah, yeah. Now it's, oh, now it's, it's, oh, now it's dark in Israel now. Oh, you can see me? Before I saw you, it was. Thank you. Someone put you on. Shine, but now it's, it's, it's dark. <laughs> but we can see you. Meir, uh, uh, what do you want to say about Moshe? What I want to say is that. I don't want to say so many things, but in few words, what do you want to say about Moshe? Your feelings. I, I've been in camps all over the world. Yeah. But. Uh, Orakef was always, always very, very special for me. I was there, I think, 15 or 16 times. I don't know, Eileen. Eileen, you yeah. remember. It was always a pleasure to have you, but I don't know how many times. <laughs> 15 or 16 years in uh, Orakef summer. Yeah. And, and some more in uh, winter kef. It all Great pleasure for me uh, to meet uh, Moshe and Eileen. And Moshe was for me not only, he's not only a good friend for me, he was a great mentor. And uh, of course, always a lot of fun. And uh, like somebody said before, I really miss him very much. I went to see him twice, but I still miss him. So it's a it's a great honor for me to take a part in this uh, evening and to do two of Moshe dances, Livavtini, Ilu Siporim, and uh, I do it with Nurit, my partner, Nurit. Uh, let's start with Ilu uh, Siporim. Uh, yes, you you okay. play. Music, okay? Lucy for him, okay. Okay. Lucy for him, I shall afford the Ziporim, <laughs> 
That is one of the great, great classic Israeli dance, couple dance, Livavtini. Samari. Uh, Meir Shemtov and Nurit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Nurit. Oh, beautiful, Mayor. Bravo, pleasure. 
Thank you. My pleasure. Lovely. Nice to see you. Welcome. Yes, Now.